Hello everyone, Rexlin here. In this video, we'll be continuing our guide for Gabriel, this time for his Phase 2 sequence, and let's get straight to it. If you're looking for the Phase 1 guide, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Once again, this is his moveset, and the frequently used ones are highlighted in yellow. I know, it might be as daunting as it looks, but I'll do my best to deconstruct them one by one, starting with the first one, Aerial Swoop. As soon as the second phase begins, Gabriel will always start with the aerial swoop. This is heavily telegraphed by sound and visual cues, so just dodge when you see it. It'll take a bit of practice, but once you get a hang of it, you can even dodge purely on sound cue without looking for his position. Once you hear it, the timing to dodge is always fixed. Moving on, his second favorite move, the dive spin combo. When Gabriel flies up and pauses for a bit, that means he's going to do two large sweeps, followed by a ground smash combo, so prepare to dodge three times when he's within range. Just like Aerial Swoop, once you get the hang of it, you could dodge purely based on timing without even looking at him. For his next favorite move, the Aerial Blink Smash. When Gabriel flies up and starts having glitching effects, immediately dodge when you see it because he's going to be plunging his weapon down on your position, followed by a ground smash. If you're not confident timing the dodge for the smash, you could simply get out of range. Moving on, the Bling Mirage launch isn't really a specific attack, but more of something that happens throughout the entire fight that you have to pay attention to. Whenever Gabriel blinks away from you, always anticipate a Mirage launch attack. This is something that you'll have to make a habit out of with sufficient practice. Next up, Spatial Tear Combo. When Gabriel hunches back like this, get ready to dodge the first attack of his Spatial Tear Combo. You'll be doing a total of 3 dodges for this attack. Pay attention to my dodging to see the timing. This part of the attack pulls your character into the tear, so get ready to dodge the moment the red vacuum effect subsides. Now let's watch the hold move again in full. Next, the side blink swipe. This is an attack that usually happens at melee range. When Gabriel blinks to the side, most players would dodge on instinct due to the animation, but what you should really do is to wait for a second for the windup and then dodge the attack. And there you have it, the remaining moves appear less commonly and are not as deadly as the first six. Vertical Drive is a delayed upward strike with a really obvious visual telegraph. Next up, there are about 3 variations of lunge attacks and Gabriel tends to do it at medium range. However, it doesn't really hit that hard and is relatively easy to dodge most of it, so you'll probably survive.
Last but not least, the All Direction Mirage Lunge. This usually happens when you're at a great distance from Gabriel. Simply dodge the Mirage as he lands. And there you have it, all of Gabriel's phase 2 moves summarized. I completely understand that it's a lot to take in, and there's only so much a video guide can teach you. The best way to overcome any boss is, of course, practice. So I hope this has been helpful to you in distinguishing the various attacks Gabriel has. Consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. So I'll be doing live callouts. Hopefully, you can see what I see. Delay shot. Sweep. Teleport. Smash. Gravity. Sweep. Late shot. Phase two. So he's gonna swoop. Teleport. And smash. Combo. Delayed shot. I mean, delayed swipe. Sorry. Spin. Tear. It's the tear combo. Pull. Dodge. Fly. Double sweep, smash, delay, spin, it's the tear again, I'm gonna get away from him, teleport, He's gonna fly. Spin. Second spin. Smash. There you have it. Full Gabriel fight.